I would have never thought in eight years I'll be where I'm at now in business. So I, 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 I underestimate long term what can happen in business. That's one of my first mistakes. I adjusted my game plan, my strategy to chase money, to just maximize profits, right? And obviously capitalism is, you know, profits and all that kind of stuff and making money and building a business. You want to you wanna maximize profits, but I put profits before people. And so that was a mistake, man. Once I did that, my business fell apart. Like, I'm a people guy, man. People, I have a people-oriented business in what I do. And as soon as I shifted back to people over profits, even though short-term it, it didn't do much for me, uh, it's more of an infinite mindset. We sold out service, and you know we've been working. We serve it, we earn it. The watches, it's hurting. Big heart, but it started with Chris. Seen a lot when it comes to this biz. Don't serve, don't earn. They got to shift keys to be a capitalist. What's going on, guys? Chris Hart here, sold out servant. Uh, today's video is a video that I shot, man. Um, it was actually, it was improv too. An agent of mine came into my office and asked me a question, man. The infamous question that most people ask coaches and mentors and leaders, what are your three biggest mistakes you've made in dot, dot, dot? In this case, it was in business, man. My three biggest mistakes that I made early in my career in business. If you're starting your own business, you're, you're working in sales, Hopefully it brings value to you. These are my three top mistakes that I made early in my career that really could have derailed me. But overall, through the experience, I got better, but hopefully you can learn from it. Check it out. One was overestimating short-term success and underestimating long-term success. So what I mean by that is that, man, sometimes <clears throat> when you become an entrepreneur, you think, okay, man, I'm gonna come on to this business opportunity. I'm gonna just kill it in business in the first three months. I'm gonna be rich. I'm gonna be a millionaire, right? And it's crazy. I fast forward eight years now, and I'm like, man, like I'm overpaid in some cases, underwork in some cases, because things are coming in now from work I did three, four, five years ago. And so, but I, I would have never thought in eight years I'll be where I'm at now in business. So I, 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 I underestimate long term what can happen in business. That's one of my first mistakes. Uh, second biggest mistake, I adjusted my game plan, my strategy to chase money, to just maximize profits, right? And obviously capitalism is, you know, profits and all that kind of stuff and making money and building a business. And you wanna, you wanna maximize profits, but I put profits before people. And so that was a mistake, man. Once I did that, my business fell apart. Like I'm a people guy, man. People, I have a people-oriented business in what I do. And I started putting profits over people, my business fell apart. And as soon as I shifted back to people over profits, even though short-term it, it didn't do much for me, uh, it's more of an infinite mindset. There's a book by a guy named Simon Sinek called The Infinite Game. And it's about a finite game and an infinite game. And a finite game is chasing profits now, sacrificing future success for profits today. And the infinite game says, hey, I'm playing this game, my long-term vision, my strategy, everything I'm doing is based off a of long-term what has the biggest impact on everyone, myself, my, my, my profit, pro, um, my, my, uh, my, my, my clients, customers, everybody. So that was probably a big mistake I made for sure, man. And the third one would be really um, biggest mistake. It was really just, um, it may sound crazy, maybe a small one, man, but for me, um, going, going, going full time too early in business. Uh, I think a lot of people out there nowadays are, are have uh, stay-at-home jobs or stay-at-home opportunities. Maybe they can work from online. And a lot of people are looking for ways to get out. I was at the gym last night and I overheard a conversation of a guy saying, hey man, right now I'm working on transitioning out of my job, come my side business is taking off. So for a lot of people are looking, at, looking for ways to say, okay, cool, I bring in 800, 80K a year at a job, 125K a year at a job. How do I replace that with a, with a side business? And the biggest thing for me is that I went full-time too early. Walked away from my job. Um, I had a little bit of short-term success. I thought I was a man, and quickly I realized that I, I didn't know enough yet. <laughs> I had to go back to work immediately, and it was it was it was tough on my on my ego. It broke me down a bit because I mean I had walked away from my job and said, "I'll see y'all later. Peace out." Right, <laughs> and, and then like four months later, like I need a job again. And so um, the second time around, I made money at my job, built my part-time business. I, I pocketed a lot of money in savings, built my savings up, built my skills up and my entrepreneurship opportunity. And so I was getting better at my skills here, working my job and got to a point to where the skills and the income and the savings and the business opportunity, I'll, I'll scale what I had at my job. I was able to walk away safely and have not been back to work ever since. So hopefully you got value from that video. Um, please comment in the comment section below uh, your thoughts on the video, maybe some mistakes you made, maybe your top three mistakes in business in your career or just in general or working at your current job right now, guys. So that being said, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and follow me on Instagram at Sold Out Servant. Till next time, I'll see you soon.